Dave is with a very special guest right now, the general manager of the Vikings, Rick Spielman. Hey, Dave. Yeah, hey, Corey. And he, uh, Laura, I don't know how far uh, away she is, but he really is interested in what the weather's going to be like down here tonight. Rick Spielman <laughs> wants to know if we're going to have a good night for the scrimmage tonight. And no rain. Uh, and no rain, please. Hey, Rick, this has been a big part of this organization, coming down to Mankato, having this nighttime scrimmage. This is the last year you're going to be here. What has Mankato meant to the Vikings organization? Well, just from the community and, and the city itself, how they've had open arms for us. They go above and beyond the call of duty mm -hmm. uh, to make this give us everything we need to have down here in the university and President Davenport and Rick Strzok, a lot of those people really work hard to make sure that when we're down here that all we have to worry about is getting this football team ready to play. And uh, like I said, we're very excited about getting into our new facility in Egan next year, but this place will always be our home away from home. How do you build that camaraderie? Because so much of, of camp and being in Mankato is camaraderie. And, and when you take that away, how do you still build that beautiful facility in Egan, but the players aren't necessarily living there for a couple weeks like they are here? I have a feeling Coach Zimmer will make sure <laughs> we're getting everything we need to get done from that standpoint as sure, well. Sure. Hey, uh, the big news today, you guys signed Linval Joseph to a contract extension. First of all, how important was it to get a guy like him have a, coming off a great year locked in for some more years? Yeah, what we've done is when we went in, we cap plan not only for this year but for future years out. And I know we have a lot of key guys, young guys coming up that we want to try to keep this defense and this team together. So by getting the deals that we were able to get accomplished so far, it's going to give us the flexibility going into the future. But he's a big part of our defense, and we're glad he's going to be a Viking for a while. And he, along with Xavier Rhodes, Everson Griffin, to get all three of those guys locked up before the season starts. How much, how important was that for you to get done before you ever got on the field this year? Well, just we know that that's the foundation of our defense. And all those guys are Pro Bowl caliber players. And a lot of them are just right now in the prime of their career. So to get that locked in and to give us the flexibility to get a few more guys done as we head down the road here, uh, we'll be able to keep this team together. The, the cut this year, there's a difference. You don't have to cut the roster uh, down to 90, I believe. You go, stri you go straight, you go past 75, excuse me, straight to 53. How does that affect what you do on both sides of it, either getting to evaluate guys here and evaluating other guys that might come into the roster after the cut? We have a system in place, and we're going to have to adjust that system, but you have to figure we're going to get that waiver wire at around 9, 10 o'clock that night, and we have to make decisions on if we're going to claim a player from another team or we're going to add a guy to our practice squad and compare it to our own roster. Now we'll go through the same systematic approach on how we evaluate 31 other teams and their rosters, and we have guys targeted on those, and we'll make comparisons against our guys. But you're going to have probably 1,200 names come off the board that night, and you got about 14 hours to make decisions. So I told our people, pack, or, uh, pack lunch, dinner, and even <laughs> breakfast for the next morning. <laughs> hey, Rick, thanks so much. Enjoy tonight, and uh, appreciate you coming on with us. Thanks for having me on. All right, thanks. Rick Spielman, Vikings general manager. Uh, big night for him tonight and the Vikings as they have their uh, scrimmage here. Certainly, it's always packed out. Uh, will be a great show, and we will have uh, the highlights and reaction coming up tonight at 10 o'clock.